If you want to know how to cook this egg in this Metfor Big Bourget carbon steel pan using only butter, then stay tuned and we'll be right back. Some of you have been asking me about uh, how to cook eggs in a mat for bouguet, if I'm saying that correctly, a mat for bouguet frying pan. This I believe is a, uh, about an 8 inch pan roughly. It's about 8 or 9 months old, well seasoned as you can tell. And uh, what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is use butter. With my different recipes, I'm going to use, a, first of all, eggs over easy. The next video will be on uh, a classic French farm omelet using butter. And the next one will be a classic French classic French omelet, uh, period, with no, it's not the farm, it's, it's pure uh, yellow on the top. So those will be the three that I'll be using with butter. Then I'm going to repeat everything with oil to show you that you can actually use olive oil and do the same thing. So... Let's start it up. Got the pan on. Let's put it at a, at a level of about two on the heat. I already have my egg cracked. Of course, it's an organic egg. And since the, the French like a lot of butter, so do I. Okay, it's good for the arteries. <laughs> so we're going to leave that set there and uh, see how we do on this egg. What I want to do is let this this will melt and go down to the side. In a minute, so uh, I'll be right back. When, when it starts to melt in the center, uh, we shall return. Okay, the egg is starting to melt a little bit, and since my stove is on a slant, if you watched in my any of my other videos, you'll see that it's always on a slant. One of these I have to fix it. So I'm just going to make sure that the egg is all around here. This pan is uh, well seasoned, as you can tell. It won't take too, too much long. I'm going to wait for the the, uh, the butter to to bubble just a little bit, and then we'll put my egg in. And once it's in there, I won't touch it. Of course, I said that the last time, and I kept fiddling with it with my fork. And you probably said, "Don't touch it." You told me, "Don't touch it." <laughs> so we're not going to touch it this time. All right, let's swish it around a little bit more. This uh, pan has got a real short handle here. I don't know if you can see it from that angle. Short handle here, which really makes it, it's not that high up when you set it on a flat surface, which it goes in the, the pan racks perfectly if you're storing it in your oven. All right, let's put this in there. Probably in a little too soon. We'll see how that goes. Starting to turn white around here already. Now I won't touch it. Trust me. This pan, uh, I only use it for my eggs. I have two pans that I use for eggs. My Volworth pan and my Matfor uh, Bogey pan. I guess this one is more highly rated than the other one, but uh, I don't know why. This, the sides basically are sloped really nice. Perfect for, for eggs or om turning omelets. You could flip the egg with this, but it's a pretty heavy pan. So that's why I'm going to use my trusty spatula here. Somebody asked me the other day why I use silicon rather than a metal one. You could use either one. Just making any difference. This is all I have. It's what I have handy. Let's see how this does. I'm just going to... I know I just said I wasn't going to touch it, but I'm just going to touch it a little bit. See? It flips right up. No big deal. I want to get let this get a little bit more white in here. Let's see what that looks like in the camera. Oh yeah, you still can see it. A little bit more. See, this is just floppy now. This is fine. Over here, same thing. I'm going to let this get a little bit more. I'm going to move it over to the heat a little bit in the center. So far, so good. Move it around. One little sticky area, there it goes. So it's non stick. I was uh, w watching a program the other day about uh, phones. Let's 
I won't mention iPhones or any of the companies like that, but a lot of them are they built in uh, obsolescence. I know I had a computer that was an I, uh, Apple computer. I know it's off the subject here, but it's interesting. I'm going to draw you back to this. There's a reason for I'm saying this. The uh, My computer needed repair, and Apple said, well, we don't fix them anymore. It's out of date. I said, come on, it's only eight or nine years old. It works perfect other than this little problem. Well, you can't even buy parts for it. So, you know, the same thing with the, the, these uh, coated pans. I don't know, the stone pans and the copper colored pans and all the rest of them. After two or three years, you've got to throw them away. This thing will last forever. You're, there's no obsolescence built in to carbon steel pans. You can put them in your will. All right, let's turn this over. Look at that. Perfect, right? Look at that underneath there. So we'll just flip it over. This little dark, dark spots here is no, nothing to be alarmed about. That's the iron. All right, we'll turn this off. I'm going to take this, put it in my... There's my egg. What I'm going to do now, without trying to burn myself, I am going to show you how I clean, always clean them. I just take a paper towel and I wipe it down like this. Let's get this off of here a little bit. I'm going to grab another paper towel. Just about like that. And I never it never sees water or soap. And since I use it every day, I'm not worried about bacteria. It gets so hot anyway. There you are. That's it. Matt for Breguet. Perfect for eggs. Uh, the next egg I'm going to make on the next video will be a uh, French classic French farm omelet. Very, very good. So I hope you stay tuned, and there will be some more videos up here in the corner that you can watch uh, if you'd like to, to give you some more instructions on how to use this pan. And uh, stop back again. Thanks for watching. Bye.